So I just got back from BoardCon three days ago. I've been trying to like process and think about how I was going to talk about it or share it. It was like such an amazing experience. I don't even really know where to begin. I think where I first want to begin is with you guys because like, you know, I, I've been talking to you guys for years. You guys write me or I write you and you know, you guys say nice things to me and I'm like, oh, that's nice, you know, and it's over text. So I don't really take anything uh, to heart. And in meeting people that actually, um, I didn't realize how like connected you guys feel to me and my family. Um, the fact that Mo has gotten presents from India, from Australia. Can I, can I, I'm sorry to interrupt. Thank you, everybody. You are amazing people and viewers. And it's, you know, cause it's easy. You guys see me all the time, um, but I just see my phone, you know what I mean? So it's like easy to, to not, it's not easy actually. Yeah. I didn't realize until I met people in person, like how connected we really were. And that really blew my mind. Um, and it was really amazing. And it was really like life-changing and eye-opening for me uh, to be in the same room as you guys. And um, it was really awesome. So that part was really awesome. Yeah. Um, I got to meet Simon Bull. Oh, by the way, shout out to Simon Bull. He helped a lot with Polka. Well, you know what he did? He, so as a joke, because we saw a video many months ago where he poured paint on people. And as a joke, I don't even, I don't remember how it started. Oh, yeah. uh, but it was like, oh, look, um, wouldn't it be funny if we made Canela do it with me? Um, would it be funny if we both had, sorry, my storage just got yeah. full, so I had to, uh, Delete some stuff. Okay, so I was talking about how it was going to be a funny joke. Wouldn't it be funny if Simon poured paint on Canela and I, etc., etc.? And then um, Billy said, "Well, let's have Shelly too because Shelly uh, is also very clean." So it started off as like kind of like a funny joke in a way. Uh, but you're called Nasty Mo. I'm called Nasty Marvin. Actually, became so Simon did pour on us, and actually, I'll insert a clip here. Um, it was actually really uh, amazing. <laughs> and like, as we laid there, it was like very theatrical. And as we laid there and then the paint splashed on us, it was like a really cool experience. And you know the coolest thing? So Simon Bull, if you don't know, he's a world renowned artist, uh, Muhammad Ali. He was Muhammad Ali's personal artist. Um, and- Mom, you should explain 
they knew Muhammad Ali is? I think they know who. Do you know who Muhammad Ali is? No. no. Well, Muhammad Ali is a very famous um, boxer from a long time ago. So anyways, he, he sells his paintings for like $80,000. And do you know what he did with that painting of me and Canel and Shelly? He cut it up and he signed each piece and gave it to people at Porcon. Like what a legend, legend, sneakers agrees. So who else did I meet? Oh, I got to meet Callan. He's a, my fellow um, Canadian. He did a wonderful um, speech. He's really such a sweetheart and all the ladies, cause he's young, I think he's in his twenties. All the ladies wanted to like mama bear him and just like protect him and he's really legit. He's on our team, we like him. I can't even tell you, I mean, not to mention the fact that I literally met my best friends for the first time. Well, Mid not, well not one of them. Not one of them? Billy. Well, I've already met Billy, yeah. but yes. Mitchell and Bree, and I got to meet Shelly. I got to meet Chris from Germany. I mean, how epic. And the most important is what I wanted to make sure is every student that left my class, and I hope, I did it, but I wanted to make sure that every student that left my class left with some great information and happy with the piece that they made. Mom, you should tell them the story about the uncle with the MS and you were helping him. Shout out, <laughs> Mom was so good. Thanks. One of my favorite Mona moments, shout out to Sparkle. Um, she took my class and um, we had about 10 minutes left. So can I tell you something about this? every student in my class? So I, was, I gave them um, a canvas to practice on because we were doing swipes and then a nice round. And I figured that they would need to really trash. I got so much paint and so much pillow paint because I figured they'd have to practice and trash, practice and trash till they got it. Do you know that everybody kept even their practice canvas because their practice canvas was pretty? And if I ever do it again, I'm, I'm not even doing a practice canvas because like the students were so good. And Miss Sparkle, Lori had, we had 10 minutes left and she had a bit of a tremor and I, I didn't realize she was having a hard time the whole time, but we had 10 minutes left. She hadn't done her round yet. And I said, uh, she's like, oh, I don't have time to do my round. And I said, heck no, we're doing a round. So I poured all the paint, I did it. I held the spinner, she held the swiper. We moved the spinner around and she swiped and it was like, Eureka, hallelujah. She did a swipe, the cells sang and popped open. It was really a beautiful experience. Sally tend to look. Yes. I'm, I'm so close to crying. Everybody was crying. I was crying, she was crying. It was a beautiful moment. And those are the moments to me that are so worth it and make it uh, so special. And the crew were working like more than 12 hours a day. It was just amazing the uh, amount of work and effort everyone put in. P.S. I brought my mom, Mamarv. I thought, oh, she takes some classes, she chills. She worked her bum off, okay, with Amber, who was my um, room attendant. Both of them, it was like insane, because of course, to, to do the bloom, there's a lot of little pieces that need to go. Anyways, I'm excited. I really want to do more in-person things. I really do. For me, it was really um, inspiring. Did I miss anything, Mo? Uh, yeah. Oh, Mo. Well, let's see if- Mo? Yeah, oh, Mo. I really actually have something to say. You have something to say, okay. Well, when mom started this whole moon thing, yeah. I didn't know what was really going on. Yeah. Then, you know, we moved to the cottage because of Corona. Yeah. Which really, Helped, helped us a lot. Yeah. Mom found her passion, and it was always just something to do, and we all liked it. We did all like yeah. Corona and time. <laughs> yeah. We had a great time. Yeah. That that's true. Very lovely. Not, yes. Not done. Not done. Okay. But when we but I was going into present day time. Yeah. When we went back here. Yeah. There was a little stop. And that was us just figuring out. Because you have to go back to school. Yeah, that was yeah. us figuring out what we were going to do. Yeah. And then we jumped back in. Yeah. We jumped back into life. We jumped right back into life. Coming coming here right now. Yeah. We accomplished so much. You, you guys are beautiful viewers. And thank you, 
everybody because you you are the main reason this channel's here right now. The only reason. Yeah, the only reason. You guys, and I love you, and Mo loves you, and Elliot loves you, and Sneakers loves you. Yeah. Can I just tell you something really exciting? So that, let's pause that for a minute because that was a lot of boring talking. Huh? That wasn't boring. Not boring, but you know what I mean. Not paint related. So listen, do you want to know why I'm excited? So I haven't actually painted. So before PorCon, I hadn't painted in months. And at PorCon, I taught six classes, basically doing the same thing, same colors. Do you know that my friend Bree from Australia brought me back whole craft paints that I've been wanting? Because you want Yeah. Go to Cool Breeze Studio. Ah, yes, go to Cool Breeze Studio. Do it all. Because on YouTube, because guess what? She taught alcohol inks at PorCon and it was amazing. Okay. Go to Fluid Fluid Art Company. But listen, I want to tell you something exciting about, well, it's not going to be exciting for you. You know why? You can't get these anywhere but, Aust oh, this is, you can't see the color, but Australia. But I'm going to use, the, mix them up anyways today. I don't know what I'm doing with them. So listen, this is my other thing. I'm so like out of the loop of what I want to do um, painting wise. But what I realized is I brought all of my paintings like stuff that's been in my house for a long time. I was like, you know what? Out with the old and with the new. So think piece, I sold pieces that I've been keeping for myself. They've been like displayed in my living room everywhere. Yeah. So now I kind of need to make new art for my house. So and, yeah. Renovation room renovation for, yeah for my room, yeah and i would like some old pieces to cover up some things you will tell me what colors you want yeah. listen this is whole crop this is such a pretty color i'm trying to read which one this is i got a lot of blues have you never seen me in my glasses before this is one pair i have many pairs because i lose them oh guys you still have a whole needed disc um i my herniated disc luckily is has behaved Oh, this is called Wit Sundays, okay? Wit Sundays? This is a really pretty, and it's opaque, it's a really pretty light teal color. Question, does it taste like Sundays? <laughs> I don't think so. I think that's a, an Australian thing. So this is very, this is like ink. This is very liquidy, okay? And then we have um, Lagoon. Let's compare. I'll, I will show swatches for you, but we can see it's a little darker. So I think I got tubes too. I don't know if I'm gonna use the liquids or not, but let's just look at these blue colors. Are you, are you sad that Sorry. you can't order them? Sorry, I think a lot. Yes, honey? But you should probably promote all these channels. I should promote. Like, yeah, like Kubri Studios. Kubri Studios. Okay, this is called Marina. So let's see how. Wow, they're really similar. I'm just putting it back here so you guys can see. I, I have okay. to, I'm, um, go to Kooky Studio. Yes, absolutely. Rain and Pours. Rain and Pours, Mitchy Mitch. Um, and... Pool Party. Pool Party. Hey, Mom, remember when you made Poolside Blue? Yeah, Poolside. How do you remember these I colors that I made? He's I like know. my, here. These are the blues I got. Pretty, right? So hold on. Do, do you know where do you know where she thought of it? At a poolside. I don't. I kind of recollect. He remembers everything. Okay. So those are like the um, fluids, and then I have some tubies here. So let's see. I I think I got the same. A lot of the same colors in the tubies. Mom, can I leave? You yes, you may leave. Okay. Thank you so much for your help. I love you. I will be done shortly. Okay. Um. Bree, these are Bree's. She's such a hippie. They smell like patchouli. Which I hate the smell of patchouli, but she's such like an oil, you know, an oil person. Okay, let's see what we got. Okay, these are called Holcroft Flow. God, my throat hurts. So my mom has COVID. A lot of people got COVID there, and I thought I had. I'm still like waiting for it to happen because my throat's been hurting for four days, but I've been wearing a mask around the house. Like Mo was over there. I've been careful. So this is pool party, okay? I think I'll probably play with the, I'll mix with the two. We have pool party. We have 
reflection. Uh, hold on. Ooh, no, you can't see there. Okay, a pretty like um, pinky color. I'm definitely mixing them up and then it will kind of inspire what piggies we want to use. Aqua green light, sure. Why not, right? Um, <clears throat> and this looks pretty. This looks a lot, this is called Tranquility. No, hold on, how do you? Can't even see. I promise it's a, you know, oh, here. It kind of looks like, what's that other Australian one? Matisse, Australian sky blue. Like it's kind of like a light purple. I'll show you a better color. Okay, next, <clears throat> we have So fun. It's fun, like, um, getting new colors can be so inspirational, especially if you have no idea what you want to do. Uh, ooh, paper bark. It's kind of like a sage color. Hmm. Hmm. I'm feeling something flowy with these colors. I don't know. Let's see. Uh, this is permanent light violet. You know, just a regular... Thing. Um, and then we have Gala. Gala. What even color would you call this? Um, it's lighter. <laughs> it's lighter. Here, can you kind of see? Hmm. It's kind of like the tranquility, but a little lighter is what I'm trying to say, which you can't see. Oh, okay, whatever, you get the picture. Finally, uh, coast, coastal turquoise, yes please. All right, so I, yeah, I think I'm gonna mix the tubies today uh, and leave these, although, hold on though. So I, I didn't get, so with Sundays, I didn't get in a tube. Pool party, I did get in a tube. Um, Marina, I didn't get in a tube. And Lagoon, I didn't get in a tube. All right, I guess we're mixing them all then, aren't we? I'm gonna have to make these a lot thicker. Do you think I, oh, I do have some bare, I don't, oh, it's pretty light though. Whatever, we're gonna do it. I haven't um, painted in so long, like I don't even know what's here. All right. I'm gonna put you down. We're gonna get to mixing and then I'll figure out what piggy is. And then, I don't know. We'll see what's gonna happen. Be right back. Okay, I only have this much pouring medium left. So I am going to omit for now these three colors just because. Um, now, something interesting to note, this coastal turquoise is also opaque. Normally these like deeper phthalo turquoise and things like that are not opaque. So <coughs> I'm gonna have to remember that um, when I mix, cause you can see here it says opaque. So um, for these three fluids, I'm gonna put less of my bear. I did put like just a touch of Josonia in here just so it can pour out easily. Um, so for three of them, I'm gonna put more there. Okay, one, two. And I don't know the consistency of these tubes actually. Um, like I don't know if they're like Josonia, like soft or you know what I mean? So we'll see, we'll just, you know, we adjust as we go. Bloop, I had all my classes saying bloops, singing songs. It was truly super fun, really. Okay, oh, I did have enough, whatever. We'll just save this. Now, I don't even know, I'll figure out piggies later, but um, let us do a dash of Joe Sonia in here for the fluids and a little more in here. Okay, now let's put a fluid in. So the first, how am I gonna remember which one is which? I don't know. Uh, this one is Marina, high flow. We'll see how it goes. 
check there. I think, oh, it's pretty. I'll have to write something on top. Okay, open up the spout. Yes. This is very, I wonder how it compares, but it does look like um, golden teal. Maybe a touch lighter than golden teal. We'll see. Do you see how the opaque like really thickened it up, made it gloopy? That's what happens with these teals and these opaques. They really, which is fine by me because that just means I'll just add more Josanya until I like the consistency, right? So there we go. One, two, sink. Pretty good. Okay, that was Marina. The next one we have is Lagoon. I'm curious if they're really that different. Hold, please. Shake, 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 shake. Open her up. Hmm. This seems more waterier and, and lighter. Lagoon. So far, Lagoon excites me more. I don't even know if you can tell the difference. Just because it's a bit brighter than Marina. Okay. Hmm. Well, a bit fresher. I hope you guys can see. Let's see. Lagoon Marina. Just a touch. Spin it out a bit. Okay. So so far, Marina's my winner. Nope. Lagoon. <laughs> Are we gonna? I already forgot which was which. Um. Okay. Next. Yeah. Marina's the winner. Okay. Next fluid we have is Whit Sundays. Let's see about this one. I love to have options though. Like normally I haven't seen a company where that um, has like very similar light blues if you're a light blue person, you know what I mean? Oh, that's really watery too. So this, these are more warm, like towards the yellow side. This is more blue and cool. Okay, remember, oh, sorry. A few videos ago, I uh, talked about the difference between warm and cool colors. You can really tell when they're side by side. Wit Sundays. Mixy, mixy, mix. But I th yeah, I think you can tell the difference in the camera, what I mean, where this is more of like a yellowish uh, compared to this. This is okay, this is very like ice cool, you know? Um, in comparison though, I still think the Marina, if that was the second one it did, excites me the most. Although I don't mind this at all. Uh, definitely pretty, but you can see the difference. Okay. Cool. Let's go to Aqua Green Light. We'll see how that fares. So I'm gonna squeeze. Oh, I don't like these little things. Uh, hold on. Hold. There we go. Aqua Green Light. Blue. Okay. Oh, oh, blue. It's thicker than I thought. A little bit. I mean, it's nice, but I just was expecting something else. Okay, this is gonna get thick and I'm gonna need to thin this out for sure. So let's see how the aqua green light. Okay, nice color, definitely. Um, you can see it is of this like warmer yellowish variety. Let's add some. Just not into it. So, you're gonna ask what piggies? I don't know yet. I think I'm gonna have to go out 
and get some more bear, 8,300, and then uh, mix those up. But you've seen me mix the piggies a thousand times. This is cool. <laughs> cool. Next, I'm very curious about this coastal turquoise. I don't, oh, it's gonna annoy me every time I open it. Okay, ready? Bloop. See, this is much softer what I was expecting with that. So um, this won't thicken up the pouring medium as much as the other one did. Coastal turquoise isn't exciting me. It's okay. Um, how would I compare it? It's, I guess it's kind of like their phthalo turquoise. It's a little lighter. I can see it does look opaque. Like, um, yeah, it, you can tell it's opaque-ish. Which I guess could be cool if you're interested in, you know, making some peacock, peacock cells in layers. Um, am I in love with it though? Not bad, not bad, I will say. It's not bad. I wonder if I have a phthalo turquoise, what is this? I just so happened, this, I'm guessing this has been sitting for two months so we have no idea what it is. This looks like a phthalo turquoise. So you can see the phthalo turquoise is deeper. Um, and this just looks like it has like white, titanium white in it to lighten it up, which would make it opaque. Okay. But we're definitely gonna add that into the mix if I'm doing this situation. These I really like, I do really like these. I wish I got them in, um, in tubies instead. Not instead, but like it's fine. It's fine, I'm not complaining. Okay, I have three left that I wanna try. Um, let's do the pool party, which is the first one that always intrigued me. Mm -hmm. Pool party, yeah, okay. Let's see. All right, it's a pretty one, definitely. Um, again, definitely on the cooler side. It doesn't have that like yellow tint uh, that those three have. Yeah, it's a nice color, not gonna complain. So you can see like, for instance, these two are, the, are on the cool version, whereas like these two are more of the yellowy warmy version, right? Okay, pool party, cool. Now, let's do <coughs> Tranquility and Gala. Gala, I don't know, you'll tell me. Um, the Tranquility is a darker one. Yes, love it. Definitely reminiscent of what I said. Um, Matisse Australian Sky Blue, <clears throat> excuse me. But more purple. And more cool, I think. Uh, I don't think I have mixed, someone mixed up, but definitely like, yes. This color really got, gets my goat in a good way. <laughs> you know, it's really, uh, <clears throat> yes. That's a yes for me. Okay. Next, finally, this one. Let's see if it's as exciting. Mm -hmm. How many times have I tr tried to pour directly into the cup? <laughs> okay, here we go. Hmm, looks so far really similar. Um, let's see if we can see the difference. Let me thin it out a bit. Huh. I actually am not sure I can tell the difference between those two. So let's see. Can you? I mean, on the camera, this does look a little darker, but in person, they look identical. So there, more of this color, I guess, for me. I mean, I guess this is a touch cooler and bluer than this one, but it's like, almost impossible all right let's swatch them up right okay i'll just go in order of what i did 
and um, or should I go dark to light? Why don't I go dark to light? So I'm not gonna remember what they are, but this is pool, not even pool party. This is that, um, oh gosh, here we go. One moment. <laughs> this is that, tur that uh, yeah, that coastal turquoise, okay. And then I'll do this one. Don't make me say them all, but I'm going to. Aqua green light, okay. Okay, and then this one, oh yes, pool party. Okay, um, Marina. Lagoon. And yeah, Lagoon. Definitely side by side, you can see I'm definitely into Lagoon. Um, and then this guy, that guy. Oh yeah, Wit Sunday. Okay. And then these two guys, which um, I'm really loving this one, which is that, not Gala, but the other one. Although, let's see if they're, See, I can see side by side, it is slightly lighter. The Gala, and I'll, I'll tell you the name. Um, Tranquility, okay? It's like slight. I don't wanna drip it right. Um, I'm, okay, so, so far, the ones that excited me the most are this Marina and this tranquility agree these are the ones that like when i poured them i was like wow they're really awesome i'm gonna get this bloop out of there um so what are we gonna do i don't know i'm gonna get more pouring medium um i'm probably gonna leave it at this video hello hello and um my next video i'll actually mix them up and make something pretty let me know which ones did you guys like and i want to reiterate that i am so grateful and thankful that you guys have like stuck with me and you're around and just know that like how much i appreciate you how much my family appreciates you and i think you're so wonderful i really do um wish me luck Stay tuned for the next video. Love you.